Hey everybody, it's Raven here, and I have a new tutorial video for you today. And today we're going to be talking about Recon. Uh, Recon's actually one of the things that I didn't originally think would maybe need a tutorial video. I, I can see I was wrong just looking at the forums, and I've actually had probably three people ask me in the last week or so just about Recon and how you use it, and so I prepared this little uh, test here with my friend Nato Potato playing Op4. And um, we're just going to show you how Recon works and talk a little bit about it, and hopefully after this video it'll be a lot clearer to you. So you can see here I'm playing a deck that has just different Recon types, and I'm going to explain them all in a second. Um, uh, to begin with, we have Cavalry Scouts, and this is just a... Uh, it's it's not a very combat effective recon. It's it's kind of slow. It doesn't have great armaments. It's really just there to to look at stuff, to sit somewhere with binoculars and look over a field. Uh, and that that's one type of recon infantry. And that's kind of in contrast to something like the Navy SEALs, who usually have kind of faster transports and they're a little more badass, a little more expensive and yeah, they can look at stuff, but they're really as much a hunter-killer as they are a reconnaissance unit. And certainly, like, um, Soviet Spetsnaz Gru and those types of units all fall under that category. Uh, and then, I have several different types of vehicles here. They're to showcase the different sorts of optics. You see this M113A cav only has good optics. There are three levels of optics for recon. Good, very good, and exceptional. And the ACAV is really something you wouldn't ever use. It's just good optics is just that bad, and I'll show you why in a minute. But for the display purposes, I have it here. And there's a Bradley Recon, which is very good optics, which is a little bit better. I see Potato is <laughs> artillery and shit. Um, and then I have Exceptional Optics uh, Vehicle, which is also it's just the next level of optics. And then I also have that represented with helicopters, Exceptional and, and Very Good. And so, what we have here is actually Potato has tanks in this bush here, and I'm going to show you. See, here's my ACAV, which is good optics, my Bradley Recon, which is very good, and my uh, FAV, which is exceptional. And so I'm just going to move my ACAV a little bit forward here. You see at about 1500 meter range he detected Potato's T-72s hiding in the forest. That, that's that's not very good. That, that's in the range of those units. They can shoot at me before I can see them. That's why uh, good optics isn't that great. Here's my very good optics vehicle. You see at about maybe 2200 meters it detected them. Um, that's, that's pretty good, but it's not perfect. Cause that's basically as soon as something sees me, then uh, I'll see them, and that's not as good. But then my exceptional optics jeep here, rolling forward, look at that, from almost 3,000 meters away, I think 2,800 meters, I could see Potato's tanks, which are just a very standard unit, uh, medium size with poor stealth. That's most of what you're trying to detect hiding our tanks, so that's what we chose to show. And so that's just, um, that's just the different ranges. Again, it's about maybe... 1500 for good optics, um, 2200 for very good, and uh, almost 3000, maybe like 2800 to detect stuff in a forest using exceptional optics. <clears throat> and another important aspect of recon is actually, move my stuff back here, it's actually line of sight. Uh, it's something a lot of people miss, and I think. You might uh, you might say, well, I my stuff can't detect this this unit. Why can't it? And it's usually because something's in the way. I'm going to demonstrate that. Um, first, here's my Bradley. See, he's behind this building right here. As soon as he breaks the corner, he sees those units. I think he'll probably lose sight of him when he goes behind this bush. Yeah, see. So you have you have to be really careful where you place your recon units. So behind this tree line or behind these buildings, he won't see anything. But then if I poke him out here at the very edge of the forest, see, he's still hidden, but he can see those tanks right now. Uh, and it also works with helicopters. For example, here is a Exceptional Optics helicopter. It's on the ground right now. See, he can't see because he's behind these buildings. 
If I tell him to lift off, he will go into the air and then there's his tanks. So whenever you place a recon helicopter, you want to be really careful where you put it. Usually like uh, click over a building or over a tree line. Basically anywhere where your cursor turns blue is terrain that he'll he'll stay above because he, he can't land in the trees obviously, he can't land on buildings. So he's a little bit too far back to see right there. Though he can see that BTR. Put him over the buildings here, he'll he'll stay floating though. This is actually a little bit too close. He'll get shot down by A if he's right there, but that's just kind of a tip for using recon helicopters. Now even in the air, they're they're elevated, so they actually can see over stuff, but it's not perfect. Um for example, I can see this BTR right here. But if I was to look at this, see the, the line of sight? As soon as it turns from, from like, that's out of range, but see how you can target stuff, and then as I move it over here, this is where he loses line of sight. The, the angle's just too much that he can't see, like, over to this area. He can only see, like, in this area. That's something, this, if you have a gun on, you can press T to fire position, and then... It'll give you a little bit of an idea of what they can see through, what they can't. Like buildings there. <clears throat> and kind of reinforcing the whole, like, this infantry is just for looking around. See if you place these cavalry scouts in the building here, boom, they'll see all this stuff. If you move them out, see they lose sight. Move back in. Oh, yeah, I was going to demonstrate that in a second, but we could talk about it right now. Um, you see my Bradley here, his icon, his little name tag is just, just solid. And as he goes into hiding here, it's going to start flashing. And when something starts flashing, that's when you know that, um, that it's seen. I mean, when it stops flashing, I mean. So here he is in the forest. He can't be seen. See his icon's flashing. Oh, sorry. Left his cannon on. Um, so, Potato, what I want you to do is... Oh, you can see him right now? Uh, no, I can't. Okay, there he goes. He flashed back. So I'm going to do a little test here. I'm going to fire a missile at you. You can see me now, right? Right. I couldn't actually see you when you were shooting your auto cannon. Yeah. So there, now he stealths again, and the reason why he revealed there is because whenever you fire a weapon, it generates something called noise, and what that does is it just, it, it lowers your stealth value, basically. See, this recon unit actually has medium stealth. All recon units actually have improved stealth, so they're pretty good for, they're just better at sneaking than maybe a regular unit, for example, a regular Bradley versus this Bradley. I wanted to... Potato, can you, like, advance with your tanks across the the field, and I want to shoot them with my missiles, and then see how long it takes you to actually discover him. My Bradley, he's going to be firing from the trees in the back here. You want me to cut my weapons off? Or... Yeah, sure. Alright, I'm in position if you want to go. Alright, so here's his tanks coming. My tow 2 missile is 2600 meter range, so I can almost fire at him. Now, can you see my Bradley right now? No. Tell me when you can see him. Your guns are on, right? Right. Hold on, he's flashing. Yeah. Notice he's flashing again. Oh my <laughs> recon choppers nerfing. Okay, so now you saw me. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you can call the tanks off. What happened there was my Bradley has medium stealth, like I said. And so a unit like this with ATGMs and medium stealth, because he's a recon, can actually sit here watch this field and snipe tanks before they get in range to see him. Now if Potato had had an exceptional optics vehicle, he could have helped those tanks spot my Bradley and fire at them that much sooner. 
But because he just advanced with these tanks on their own, they weren't able to see this guy with the medium stealth, and he was able to kill two of them, basically with impunity, using his missile, and didn't get revealed until his tanks were about here. So that's kind of a neat thing for recon, especially units like this, which are so well armed while still being recon, still having that stealth. Uh, let's see. One last thing I wanted to talk about was um, on the left here. This India zone is very difficult to recon just because it has this big kind of awkward forest here with this tree line uh, running along the road. And so I wanted to show just... I'm going to move up with my uh, exceptional optics jeep here. Try to get him... See, I'm waiting for my cursor to turn blue because I know then he'll go into the, the cover. See, so he can see... Uh, Potato has recon infantry here that can see my vehicle while I'm kind of sneaking up. Is your BTR still in that forest on the bottom, or did he... Oh, there he is, okay. So you want to be careful. See, he had recon infantry there. And so if you want to recon this zone, I'm going to move actually uh, recon infantry up instead. They're actually... Compare them to the FAV here. They are very small with very good stealth as opposed to small with medium stealth in terms of size and stealth. Uh, size affects a little bit how uh, like how easy it is to see a unit, I believe, but it's mostly the stealth value. So you see now my Navy SEALs are hidden here in the forest, this little tiny hedgerow or whatever this is, little tree tree line. And they're overlooking this whole area, but they they can't be seen. You see I'm looking with their their line of sight. They have they have vision on all of this. The only reason they can't see there we go, is BTR is moving up. So if there's one recon unit, I can kinda watch this whole sector over here. Now no, I can't see his recon infantry. To do that I'd have to be a little more sneaky, get stuff in here, but just in general this shows like you can use recon infantry a little bit closer to the front line and not be detected, whereas my Jeep was detected when it was right there. And this is really where Recon Infantry shine, here and also seen in the corner around this uh, building like I show with my Cavalry Scouts. Uh, Alright, I think that's pretty much everything. Did I miss anything, Potato? Uh, not that I can think of. Yeah, um, like I said, Recon's just kind of a very... I, I guess it's a little more finicky than people expect. Again, like you always want to be careful of elevation. You know, if something's sitting right here that he's not going to be able to see through this wall. And even, like, I don't think this terrain really has anything like it, but on mountain sides and just in general, there can be little dips in the terrain that maybe aren't apparent until you get up really close. For example, a recon unit, like in the corner of this bridge here, won't be able to see to the other side of it because he's blocked by this uh, pillar or whatever this is. And so just be really aware whenever you're placing a recon unit, zoom in on them really close, look what they can see, uh, select them, fire position all around to see, remember T for fire position, and then you get the little icon here that shows um, everything they can see. And then when they can't see, it won't say out of range, it'll say, so that's not a good example, because his range isn't very good. See, it'll say no line of sight instead of no line of sight versus sight. So that's just one way you can tell what you can see through, what you can't. And again, like, see, I, I can't see over this ridge right here, this, like, little raised area yet, no line of sight. But then as I get closer, I should be able to see down into the, the lowlands right there, see? So yeah, I think, and of course all these... No, another thing I guess I should have talked about, but I don't have any planes, is actually planes have their own optics. Uh, air detection, I think it's called, and so, yes. yeah, and so for example, air superiority fighters have, uh, I think, exceptional air detection, so they can see enemy bombers from further away than than any recon unit or any uh, other plane can. So that's kind of something also to keep in mind when using airplanes, like uh, an ASF air superiority fighter on just floating around behind your lines can detect enemy bombers quicker than anything else, so you have more time to react. Ah, uh, yeah, so I think that's pretty much everything. I guess if you have any more comments or questions, please leave them 
in the comments on YouTube. And yeah, thank you for watching. As always, like, comment, subscribe, and I think that's all I have today. So have a happy New Year's, and this is Raven signing off.